Right. Day started out as a real muddy mess at Old Hilltop. Then the rain broke and the sun came out for just a minute. But despite all that, there was a packed house for Black Eyed Susan Day. Jamie Costello live from Pimlico tonight. It is unbelievable. Look at the skies. Look at the blue skies and the sunshine at Old Hilltop. We're getting ready on Preakness Eve, the 139th running of the Preaknesses tomorrow, but we're talking about today. This is Black Eyed Susan Day, and the Black Eyed Susan race to benefit the Susan G. Komen just won by Stop Charging Maria, trained by Todd Fletcher, who wins his third Black Eyed Susan race. The stands have been packed all day, and take a look at the painting up there. It's all red now. This replaces the, the peeled white and the smoker's yellow that we're accustomed to at Pimlico. It looks spectacular. I want to take you around the track here today. We're all concerned about the weather and the weather that we had this morning and piling up. Walking on the track, I'll tell you one thing, walking on the track, some of the spots look like Lake Montebello, but they've now filled them in. You just heard the bugler. She is a teacher from Anne Arundel County. She teaches at Fort Meade, and guess what? She is going to be the first bugler ever here in Preakness history. And we talked to the boss of the track, Tom Chukas, who told us about how the conditions are for tomorrow after this heavy rain. Tom. Uh, the main course, main track is a little wet right now. It's muddy. Um, by the end of today or early tomorrow, if we don't get any more rain, it'll go fast. It drains really well. We had to take the horses off, the races off the turf course today. It was just too wet. It's going to be here tomorrow at the Preakness. And also, Tom told me 104,000 people were here last year. They are anticipating 120,000 people here tomorrow. That, that'll be an all-time mark. The tents are all set up. Sagamore Farms, their big racing tent sponsored by Under Armour, is wide open. And at 6 o'clock on In Focus, we'll tell you how to breed a winner from Sagamore Farms. They're starting to have some great success. And when we come back at 5.30, we'll take you into the winner's circle. And ladies, I got some advice for you. Not on tips for the horses, but don't wear high heels tomorrow.